My name is uh, Alex Liu and I'm a consultant uh, a general and colorectal surgeon. Uh, I've been practicing for the last uh, 16 years and uh, I have subspecialties in benign uh, colorectal diseases and uh, pelvic floor conditions. And I've been working here for the last, at One Welbeck Digestive Health for the last two years. Anal words, also known as a condyloma, are uh, caused by the human papilloma virus, HPV. And uh, usually they might uh, extend in a, a, a anal region or perianally, so all around the anus or also in the genital uh, area. This has said uh, very commonly present in uh, conditions where there is the virus, the HPV, which is uh, sexually transmitted. In other words, it may present like a very small growth uh, around the, the anus, sometimes even lumps inside the, the anus. Are very difficult sometimes to spot because they're usually painless, but they may cause uh, itchiness or they may cause uh, bleeding, mucus discharge or severe discomfort. Being, in other words, something that comes out and very related to uh, the papilloma virus, obviously being this uh, a sexually transmitted condition, all uh, prevention uh, points and uh, leads to uh, be very careful during uh, sexual intercourse. The best thing to do would be to abstain from sex, especially when uh, uh, the patient knows that the other partner might have uh, HPV or other inner words. Uh, other things to prevent that is to use protection during sex, such as condoms, for example, and uh, to be uh, uh, obviously diagnosed with HPV, so just run a simple blood test which could tell you whether you are HPV positive or not. However, in terms of prevention, it must uh, be said that uh, uh, even though this is a sexually transmitted uh, uh, related condition, it might actually be transmitted even uh, without a, a, a sexual intercourse. This could be simply for hand contact, for example, or uh, sharing the same towel. So sometimes prevention may be difficult uh, even uh, with all the efforts. Also, nowadays the NHS offer HPV, uh, HPV vaccine and this is really important in terms of prevention and sometimes even to prevent the recurrence of the problem. In uh, terms of uh, diagnosis, uh, it's important that if you notice any uh, growth or small lesions or uh, small uh, pinpoint uh, lesions around the anus inside or in the genital area, you should be checked by either the GP or a specialist uh, colorectal um, surgeon with experience in such conditions. Uh, usually, uh, the diagnosis happens with uh, a proper uh, history taken by the consultant, but also with an examination. Sometimes the examination, if there is something suspicious and something that can lead towards the diagnosis of uh, inner words, it could happen either using small probes to check inside the anus or even with the use of lens to have a, a, a better view of the area and better understand whether those lesions are, are worse or not. Uh, it is also true that it's very important to check uh, both the genital area and the perineal area, but also inside the anus. Here at Welbeck, uh, we actually offer the latest technology available in the market, and this technology includes a uh, HRA, which is uh, a uh, high-resolution uh, camera. Basically, when we check inside the anus, everything is recorded with a camera and magnified in the screen. And this magnification allows us to see even the smallest of those uh, lesions. It is also important to know that, unfortunately, some of those lesions, besides most of them, will be absolutely benign and related, yes, to the, to the virus, to the HPV virus. It could be even uh, uh, become AIN. AIN are a sort of a precancerous lesion, and that's why it's very relevant and important and pivotal to be diagnosed and to be checked when there is suspicions of those lesions. Those precancerous lesions, in a small percentage, they could even become cancer over time. So again, very important, every time there is a, a suspicious of those uh, words, those needs to be checked carefully by a specialist, possibly having an eye resolution anoscopy where we can magnify the view, prevent the problem and diagnose the problem. 
Treatment uh, for those words is essential. Every time we find words, these must be treated. If we leave uh, the words untreated or any of those uh, suspicious lesions, they might multiply over time and become uh, uh, then more difficult uh, to treat. When we're talking about treatments for these kind of conditions, most of the time we can manage to do it in a conservative way, just using topical or more specific medications. Some of those, for example, might freeze the words and let them fall over time. Other, they simply destroy slowly, slowly those cells. But sometimes, especially when the words have already multiplied, and especially when the words involve the inside of the inner canal, surgery might become necessary. We uh, tend, yet one well back, to have a diagnosis and sometimes treatment at the same time, and this can happen in our patient department with the use of our latest technology. But sometimes we uh, might need to go towards a proper surgery where we put the patient under general anesthesia and in a day uh, hospital regime, what we do is uh, check again, re make a proper diagnosis and a proper full assessment and burn those lesions with a special devices and most of the time with a, a laser. This uh, newest technology, most of the time, is more than sufficient to clear the area and uh, to have uh, fully uh, cleared from the words. This, again, is very important as these words over time they may become cancer and we want to definitely prevent this kind of important uh, complications. One of the main problems that we have with some uh, uh, subtypes of, of those words uh, virus related uh, um, uh, that unfortunately does uh, tends to recur over time. So it's very important to have regular follow-ups with your physicians or with your consultants who look after you. It's important to be checked regularly with high resolution anoscopy because only this technology allow a proper uh, view of the inside or outside the anus. Prevention is important. As soon as new words or new lesions, suspicion lesions, they come out, they should be cleared out as soon as possible. Again, this to prevent precancerous lesions or even, in the worst scenarios, cancer uh, lesions.